Hey guys, my name is Rihanna and welcome back to my channel. This hair is from a company on Amazon called Lost Mower. This is the packaging it comes in. It comes with eight packs of hair, and this is what the hair looks like. It's their 22 inch passion twist hair, and it's already pre twisted and everything, and pre looped. And the color is T1B27, and at the end, it has these little curls right here. And the hair also comes with a crochet hook and some hair jewelry. And there's 12 strands in each pack. And the hair also is about $47. Again, this is what it looks like. Pretty shiny. And the twists are okay. They're not perfect. They have their kinks in them, but it'll be all right. And I've already braided my hair. I have about 70 individual braids in my head. And the hair comes with 96 passion twists. So that'll be more than enough for me to crochet the passion twists onto these individual braids. about halfway done and this is what the hair is looking like show you an example of how I've been crocheting the hair so I take the braid I'm working on which is this one which is a thin smaller braid so it's going to be easier to crochet anyway but this is the passion twist I'll be using and the twists are fairly soft so it's been pretty easy thus far to crochet the hair now I take the crochet hook I put it underneath the start of the braid then I hook on the pre-loop I hook it onto the hook and I pull it through like that unhook it open it up with two fingers oops so I open it up with two fingers then I pull the twist in the braid through like this and then I just tighten it so I pull the twist in the braid, looks like that, so twist, braid, then I take the crochet hook, I insert it a couple of inches below from the start of the passion twist, and I'm making my way through the center of the twist, going all the way up to the top pushing it through like that then I am hooking on the braid starting in the middle or towards the end and I pull it through like that and I grab the braid and I scrunch it up and twist and scrunch it up and twist I feel like that helps tighten the twist and also helps to not show the braid that's in the twist so like right now you can't see the braid so now i'm just going to do that again with what's remaining 
of my braid. And there you go. Now the braid is completely in the passion twist. So I just finished my hair and I feel like it looks good and I think it is very full and with that being said it also feels a little heavy and I have two packs of hair left so I didn't even use them all but it's not enough to do the style again but yes the hair does look nice but one thing is that when you crochet the hair this way sometimes there are pieces of your braid sticking through like this, this piece of my braid, I think. But it doesn't look that bad because this hair is closer to like a black color. So it kind of blends in. So with this method, unless you can figure out how to get your braid in the passion twist completely perfect with no braids, you know, peeking through, then I would suggest getting a hair color that is closer to your hair color. So that if you do have these peekaboo braids, then it's not that noticeable. So like if I had like a red color and those black pieces sticking through, it would be more noticeable. Understand what I mean? But yeah, the hair is soft and doesn't have a smell to it. It's fine. I'm not sure how long I'll keep this in. Maybe a week. Probably not that long. I don't tend to keep my hairstyles in that long. But it did take me a couple hours to go shave this hair in. I want to say about four to five. I did take a break, so I don't remember exactly, but about four to five around that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know any other type of videos you want to see from me. And thanks for watching.